What do you call the na 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 and la 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 in song lyrics? What do you call the day after tomorrow? Do you know the name of that thing that looks like a small table in the middle of pizza? This day has finally come. It's been a while since I've posted a video for a vocabulary lesson and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to learn vocabulary words but I'm not pretty sure if you'll find this video helpful. Anyway, let's learn random things and popular names of things that you didn't know have names. Are you ready? Let's start. By the way, if you're new to the channel and it's your first time watching my video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you do feel like it. If you're into English language learning, then I guarantee that this channel is for you. So yeah, we're learning random names of things today. Well, I thought of this lesson because I wanted to post something which is kind of fun. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flash a picture of that thing on the screen. Then I'm going to give you two words. You have to choose which one is the name of that thing. Are you ready? Let's start. First word, what do you call the space between your eyebrows? Where are your eyebrows? Here are my eyebrows. So what do you call the space between your eyebrows? Is it A or B? It's the letter. It's the letter B. It's glabella. Again, glabella. The ping pong ball almost hit my glabella again. The ping pong ball almost hit my glabella. Next word, do you know the name of that thing that looks like a small table in the middle of pizza? Is it A or B? Obviously, it's letter A. It's pizza saver. Again, pizza saver. I always thought pizza savers are just there for decoration purposes. Third word, what do you call that cardboard that surrounds a cup of coffee when it doesn't have a holder? It's letter A, Zarf. Zarf is needed because the liquid inside a cup is usually hot. Again, Zarf is needed since the liquid inside a cup is usually hot. Fourth word, I hope you get this one correctly. What do you call that loop on the end of the belt? It's letter B, keeper. Since it's too old, the keeper of my belt broke. Again, since it's too old, the keeper of my belt broke. For beer lovers, I hope you know this one. What do you call the foam on top of your beer? It's letter A, barm. I wait for the barm to disappear before I drink. Again. I wait for the barm to disappear before I drink. Seventh word, what do you call this? We can just say armhole. Again, armhole, because that's the hole for the arm for you to put on the clothes, right? But we have another word for that, and that is arm sigh again arm sigh you can say arm sigh or arm sigh depending on you which ones you're comfortable with the arm sigh of that shirt is too small so i can't wear it again the arm sigh of that shirt is too small so i can't wear it eighth word do you eat banana when you peel it isn't it that you have those strips and you also take them out. Now, what do you call those strips? They are flow and bundles. Again, flow and bundles. Listen carefully. It's flow and flow and flow and flow and bundles. It irritates me when I accidentally eat flow and bundles. Again, it irritates me when I accidentally eat flow and bundles. Ninth word, on one side of the hammer, we have the head, right? What do you call the other side? It's the letter A, pin. I used the pin to take out the nail from the wood. Again, I used the pin 
to take out the nail from the wood. Let's have the 10th word. I hope you're having a score of 9 out of 9 so far. This word is archaic, meaning to say we don't use this word in the present anymore. But it's still fun to know that there used to be a word for this. What do you call the day after tomorrow? It's letter B, over morrow. So we've got tomorrow, then we have over morrow. For example, we can use it like this. I heard there will be storm over morrow, so we have to be prepared. Number 11, we usually say we have butterflies in our stomach when we want to say that we're nervous, right? Now, what do you call those butterflies in your stomach? It's letter B, collie wobbles. Again, collie wobbles. This word is usually used with get and then the. So we can have a sentence like this. I always get the collie wobbles. I always get the collie wobbles whenever I have to speak in front of many people. Number 12. What do you call the dot over the letter I, the small letter I in the small letter J? It's the letter A, title. Again, title. Now take a look at the spelling. It's not title. We have two T's there in the middle of the word, so it's pronounced as title. Do not forget to put visible titles when you write the small letters I and J. Again, do not forget to put visible titles when you write the small letters I and J. Number 13. What do you call the na 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 and la 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 in song lyrics? It's letter B, vocables. Again, vocables. The vocables are the easiest to sing in Korean songs. Again, the vocables are the easiest to sing in Korean songs. Number 14, this is for the people who are so into comic books. Well, recently I've been, you know, meeting people who are into this. What do you call the group of typographical symbols that they use to indicate swear words or curse words? It's the letter A, Grawlix. Again, Grawlix. Using Grawlixes makes comic books suitable for young people. Again, Using Grolixes makes comic books suitable for young people. Number 15. If your brother or your sister has a son, you call that son nephew. If it's a daughter, you call their daughter niece, right? But what if we're not gender specific here? It's the letter A. Nibbling. Again, nibbling. My sister-in-law is having my nibbling. Again, my sister-in-law is having my nibbling. 16. Do you find it hard to get out of bed in the morning? What do you call that state? What do you call that condition? Is it letter A or B? It's the letter B. Desania. Again, Desania. She comes late at work every single day because she's always having a bad day seeing you. 17. When you search on Google Maps, let's say you're trying to find where a place is, then you'll have there that symbol, right? What do you call this? The you are here mark? It's locator. letter A. Number 18, what do you call that thing that holds the eraser at the end of the pencil? Is it letter A or letter B? It's the letter A. Pharaoh. Again, Pharaoh. I told my nibbling to stop biting the Pharaoh. Again, I told my nibbling to stop biting the Pharaoh. 19, there are people who are known by one name only, right? What do you call those people? They are letter B. Mononymous. Again, mononymous. Mononym is the name itself, and mononymous is the person who has that one name only. These people might have two names, but they're commonly known for having just one. Some examples are Shakira, um, Adele. Halsey is one of the famous people who are mononymous. Again, Halsey is one of the famous people who are mononymous. 20. What do you call the plastic coating? on the shoelace. Is it letter A or B? It's the letter A. Aglet. Again, aglet. I lost the aglet on my shoelace. Again, I lost the aglet on my shoelace. 
21. Well, I hope you're getting a score of 20 out of 20 so far. We have a total of 25 words today, and I hope you get all of these correctly. We have the crescent-shaped part of our nail, which is usually white. Well, I don't have them right now. I don't know why, but sometimes we have them, right? People have them sometimes. What do you call them? It's letter B, lineal, again. Lineal. The lineal in my nail is faintly visible. Again, the lineal in my nail is faintly visible. Next word, do your friends complain because you have a terrible handwriting? You have unreadable handwriting. Now, we have a name for that terrible handwriting. Is it letter A or B? It's letter B. Griffinage. Again, Griffinage. I don't borrow her notes because all I can see is a page of Griffinage. Again, I don't borrow her notes because all I can see is a page of Griffinage. Next word, what do you call this? The strip separating the window panes. Is it letter A or B? It's the letter A, Menton. Again, Menton. I painted the Menton's white. Again, I painted the Menton's white. Next one, since I'm into K-pop and I don't speak Korean, I used to watch a um, series of videos about misheard Korean lyrics. What do you call the misheard lyrics of a song? Is it letter A or B? It's letter A, Mondegreen. Again, Mondegreen. I often sing a Mondegreen whenever I sing in Korean. Again, I often sing a Mondegreen whenever I sing in Korean. Let's have the last word. What do you call that spongy lining inside citrus fruit such as lemon and orange? Is it letter A or B? It's the letter B. How do we pronounce this word? It's pith. Again, pith. I don't eat the pith in oranges. Again, I don't eat the pith in oranges. We can also use this word as a verb and not just a noun. So we can say, I peel and pith the orange. And that's it, we're done. I'm really curious about your score. What's your score? Tell me in the comments. I hope you learned something from me today. I hope you find this lesson fun, informative. If you like this, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so the algorithm of YouTube knows that you are enjoying this video and you find this helpful. Share this with other learners. I'd really appreciate that. Do you know some words that you can add to this list? Don't hesitate to share them and leave them in the comments as well. And as always, dream and make your dream happen. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!